What's up guys, I'm Scott with the Tech Vlog and today I'm going to be going over an app that was released by Google recently called Google Photoscan. So I've been trying to find a way to easily kind of back up some old photos that I have. They're actually physical photos here that I have. And I actually have been wanting to kind of send a couple of these to my grandfather as, as he's been going through a little bit of a rough time right now. And you know, it's, it's always nice to get some nice memories and look at some of these photos. So I was just looking to kind of bring a smile to his face. I was like, you know, I could just go to the scanner and, and scan them or I could buy one of those specialty scanners for these photos, but it's like, that's a lot of work. And, and I guess in theory, you could just take a picture with your phone. But the problem with that is it's, you know, it's going to be very hard to kind of get it perfect, to get it cropped just right. With this, it actually does a very nice high resolution uh, picture of it, and it just it looks really good as the way it does it. So as you can see, it's it's on the App Store. Of course, it's free. It's from Google. It's, it's uh, I guess it's actually made by the uh, the Google Photos team. I'm not sure how true that is, but it says uh, Photo Scan by Google Photos. So I'm guessing that that's kind of the same area. So if we go into here, it's actually a very simple application to use. So this this is definitely a more of a uh, a landscape photo. So you just kind of come above here, kind of just. You kind of generally line it up with what you got here if you can and most of the time it turns the light on so then it gives you these four dots so all you do is you just kind of move over to these dots and hopefully my hand doesn't get in the way at least it's not in the way of the, uh, the photo itself and you just hover there for a second and it takes a picture of that area and then it'll end up stitching it together and as you can see you don't have to be spot on with it but you just kind of be close enough and it works and then it'll process it and it actually looks pretty good like this one is a little bit washed out because of the light uh, but here's one I did earlier and it actually looks pretty good I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this works and it is just so simple to do it's like you can get one of those specialty photo scanners but especially if you get on the lower end of those those things can be very hit and miss if you ever look at the, the reviews of those and those things can be a little pricey as well and you know doing one by one in a scanner that's that's really annoying that, that was something I was definitely not wanting to do and uh, I saw this on, I believe it was a YouTube trending thing there for a while. I, I think this came out earlier this month, earlier December. But it just, it works very well. And the, and the quality of the, of the image is, is really quite good. Of course, it's going to depend on how good your, your original is. It, it always is. I'm going to try this other one over here. And uh, kind of, let's see if we can get something that looks pretty good. Because you can see, I mean, it, it's well lit up in here right now. Because I'm, I'm recording a video. Who would have thought? We kind of come over top, try to line it up, and then Google will kind of give us our general areas that we need to hit. I'm not sure why these are outside the photo. And if we continue, and as we continue, hopefully we'll hit that. There we go. So it's going to process it for a minute. And then if we go into there, yeah, look at that. Look, I mean, it's just, it's crazy how good this is like I mean I, I mean the original image is, is as good as it's gonna get you know that's just the camera work of its time and but this really does feel like an authentic image and if you go into like where you can mess with the corners a little bit so maybe it didn't get it quite right like as you can see it actually cut off a little bit on the side but that's just kind of to get it to square off and there's nothing over there so it really doesn't matter and you can kind of see the the area around it and it just kind of took these parts out of here so not only does it you know take the picture of it, but it also crops everything out as well. Uh, you can of course rotate it if it needs to be. You know if maybe you took it in landscape or something. You know it's not rotated quite right. And then of course you can delete it. But the nice thing about these is then it'll be uploaded to your uh, Google Photos library where it can be backed up. So you know when you have a physical copy of photos, anything can happen. You know you could have a flood, you could have a fire. They could just fade over time and. And if you have any of those, it's definitely worthwhile backing up. And honestly, you know, many solutions in the past, like I've said, it just it's it's been difficult, and it makes it almost where you don't want to back it up. It's like you know you have to. It's one of those situations where it's just like I've got to do this, but it's going to be so much work. I don't have time for this. But now it's really easy. You know, you can just use your phone, and it basically does all the work for you. So it's it's really neat so what do you guys think of this go and leave your comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all my other videos i do on this channel and as always thanks for watching